Hey everybody, this is Chan Sterling, the host of Cosplay Deviants Presents Dungeons and Deviants, The Fractured Star. We are continuing our interview series here with our next performer, Bunny Jade. Hey Bunny, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. How are you? I'm good! Good, I'm happy to have you here. Uh, we are super excited. We already interviewed some other folks. And I'm excited to get to chat with you a little bit. Uh, you're one of the performers that I actually know the least uh, coming into this program. I, I think we, all, we only interacted the first time during your audition, which was fun. Uh, so why don't you tell yeah. me and maybe the internet a little bit about yourself? Okay, um, so I love Magic Users because it's just really cool and really fun. And... Um, you have a lot of freedom with how you can use different spells for different situations. Um, magic is really unpredictable, so that's always fun to play around with in different encounters. So I definitely wanted to do a magic user um, because of that. And as for half orc, we kind of collabed on coming up with that. Um, I just think it would be really cool and fun to play a half orc. That is one race I have never played before. And I remember telling you guys about that and y'all were like, go for it. So um, I wanted to do a buff, funny, half orc magic user sorcerer just because that's something I've never done before. And I think it will be fun. That's awesome. <laughs> So, so what's your history with D&D? You said before, so you've played other characters. How long have you been playing? Yeah, so I started playing about five years ago, and um, I started playing with a new friend group at the time. And it's actually really funny because the first few sessions we had, um, when it would get to my turn, I would get really, really bad stage fright and uh, basically be unable to speak in front of anyone but they bared with me and helped me through that and they stayed in character and we kind of worked that into my first character i ever played um but i'm just like really grateful for that first group i played with for like bearing with me and helping me through that because it helped me get over it because now when i play D, &D um it just gets crazy and wild and I actually have to make a conscious effort to hold myself back while I'm in character now um, and kind of wait and think about what I want to do a lot longer than you know just like impulse because uh, now I'm much more comfortable with it and I can be uh, way more just like in the moment um, but that is all thanks to that first group for bearing with me and helping me. Like, they would stay in character and kind of try to draw me out into it um, because I was too shy. <laughs> um, and then after that, I played with probably five different groups over the past few years and um, gotten to meet a lot of really cool people through d, &D. So it actually became kind of a big part of my life. Um, and now I still play with my roommates. <laughs> that's awesome. That, yeah, that's so great, especially like having roommates to play D&D &D with, because sometimes you're just like, you have anything to do for like the next three hours. You, you, you all just want to play D&D. &D. Let's just like, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it going. That's a, I definitely had like yeah. a, a commune living in college. We played a lot of role playing. Uh, we would get to the point where like, we would just be like drunk on a Friday night and it would just turn into a LARP. It was, uh, it was weird times. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best friday night is larping <laughs> yes all yeah, right it is really cool <laughs> so uh yeah do you have any questions oh sorry no first what are you most excited for for this uh the production for the fractured star um i'm most excited to beat everyone in person because i have not met any of the other models yet so it'll be my first time meeting them all in person and getting to play D, &D with all of them will be a really extra cool way to meet people um but other than that i'm really excited for the figures and landscapes that have been hinted at and talked about i think 
the like physical creations are going to be really fascinating. Um, I haven't played with a lot of like physical uh, boards and uh, figures uh, before, so that I'm really excited to see and uh, just to meet everybody and play off of each other. Yeah, I, I really hope that I can um, spoil you for all future games with some of the stuff that we're going to do. Uh, I'm typically a theater of the yeah. mind DM myself where I like to just talk through it. But uh, Troy uh, has really been pushing me to design some wild set pieces, and we're excited to build that. We're, uh, we actually were, had a, a nice conversation earlier today putting together some of the uh, builds for that. So that's going to be really, really hype. Um, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't say anything about any of them. Um, yeah, <laughs> it must be killing you. <laughs> the, the good news is that I have a, a team that I've been working with. Some of the people I've played D&D with in the past and really trust. I've been able to talk through it and play test some of it. So I've gotten my my excitement, but I, I, I'm really excited to show all of you uh, just all that we have cooked up. Um, yeah, we've got some interesting... Uh, uh, set pieces, some tall, lots of uh, uh, height is my is my game here. So things I've never gotten really to do is uh, some big immersive sets for you guys to build with. Um, I, so, do you have any questions? <laughs> the ear hype, I love it. Yeah, hype, everybody, get hype. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying, but I can't. I don't have anything. <laughs> So do you have any questions for me about what, what this is all going to entail, what it's going to be like, or, or just, you know, questions for the universe? I wanted to ask what has been the coolest part of making this campaign? Ooh, okay. So the coolest part, honestly, was audition day. Um, we did, I think, something like 20... Maybe 25, maybe I'm over, maybe my memory is crazy, but we did like 20 or 25 auditions back to back. Yeah. And I, uh, I did a little bit of role play. If you remember, we did some role playing, you brought in a character and then I put your character into a scenario. Um, and I just yeah. riffed based on whatever character you brought to me. I built a special scenario for each character that went through. And I think my favorite part was as we were all meeting each other and getting our first group chats together, everyone realizing that no one had the same the same scenario. There was not like a stock scenario for every person because I was just riffing, making yeah. stuff up for everybody. So that, that was a really cool moment where people were like, wait a minute, did you make all these up on the spot? And I was like, psh, psh, bingo, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I remember um, talking to some of the models after and being like, wait, you got that ending? Well, what happened in yours? Like, that's so cool. <laughs> and it was really cool on the other end because it was like, you know, you're so nervous for an audition. And then um, you really got engrossed into it after only like a couple of minutes. You really fell into the story. And then it was like, wait, I wanted to see what happened. <laughs> like, I was into it, you know? <laughs> I'm all especially anyone who got picked all of the scenarios that were there i would have loved to have just kept kept going like it i yeah. one of my big regrets <laughs> was that we did not record our auditions because i would love to have gone back and seen what we could have added from some of them because like yours was like yeah. the dryad for those who didn't know bunny ended up having to encounter uh uh the the classic two people that look identical and they both say the other person is the monster so like who's the real yeah. person? But like a, And they were pointing at each other like, no, they're the fake. <laughs> and that's just a fun place to be. And you're like, I I want to know the truth. Um, uh, but like Lizzie, yeah. Lizzie did one of my favorite bits. She encountered three kobolds in a trench coat, which is just like my favorite joke in all of D D. Yeah. And I would love to have gotten through that <laughs> a little bit more. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, uh, that kind of wraps us up. Is there anything you'd like to say to everybody to uh, inspire them to back us on Kickstarter and, and, and get involved in the show? Um, definitely check out the Kickstarter. Uh, check out the really cool art that got made. Um, the artist for the poster is super talented. It looks amazing. Um, and check out all the tier lists. Uh, and there's even one where you can put yourself or an NPC of your choice into the game as an NPC, which I think is really cool. Yeah, so, help, yeah, help, let, get into the game, <laughs> so that way I can, 
accidentally murder you. Definitely not a thing that I would happen to any NPCs that I put into the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Bunny, thank you for your time. I appreciate you joining us. And everybody out there in internet land, thank you for watching. Once again, check us out on Kickstarter. Dungeons and Deviants, the Fractured Star, presented by Cosplay Deviants. It is going to be a real play La 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons game and we are excited to put this together for you but we can only do it with your help please back us on Kickstarter uh, and if you have already backed us on Kickstarter you can like share and subscribe th to this video so that way we can spread the word but we hope to see you soon and have a great night bye <laughs>